Hi, my name is Amelia Whiting, and I will be sharing about Doho Sa. Doho Sa was born in Seoul, South Korea, to artist parents who inspired him creatively as he was growing up. As a young adult, Doho Sa completed his first Bachelor's of Fine Arts and Master's of Fine Arts in Oriental Painting at Seoul National University. Shortly after graduating, Sa went on to complete his mandatory military service for two years. Once his military service was finished, Sa packed up his life at age 29 in Seoul and moved to Providence, Rhode Island. There, he attempted to attain, obtain another master's in fine arts, but because his previous education was done internationally, he had to enroll at the Rhode Island School of Design as a sophomore. Because his course options were limited as a new sophomore, Sa decided to take a course called The Figure in Contemporary Sculpture on a Whim. It was in this class where Sa was introduced to sculpture and design, and ultimately where his career began. While living in Rhode Island and attending school, Sa was introduced to a military surplus store that gifted him with thousands of military dog tag rejects. These served as his medium for his first ever major sculpture, Metal Jacket, which ultimately became the prototype for the piece you see here, Sum 1. Sum 1 stands at 9 feet tall and has over 100,000 dog tags that create the Oriental-inspired robe. The sculpture represents a piece of Sa's culture, a nod to his own military service, and the thousands of fallen soldiers around the world. As an, as an immigrant in the United States, Sa felt strong feelings of displacement and homesickness. These feelings are what inspired him to create Seoul Home. Seoul Home is a two-scale architectural structure of his childhood home in Korea, made entirely out of fabric. Sa, Sa says he wanted to find a way to take his home and the memories of home with, with him wherever he went, so he created the idea of transportable fabric homes. To accomplish this, Sa employed the help of talented seamstresses who taught him to sew. Soul Home marked the beginning of what Sa is most well known for, his ability to, to capture the universal feeling of home. Fallen Star was created to convey the feeling of displacement, or as Sa describes it, plucked up and fell from the sky. Fallen Star is a two-scale model of Sa's Cape Cod-style home he lived in in Rhode Island that sits atop Jacobs Hall, the Institute for Design and Innovation building on the UC Berkeley campus. Sa created Falling Star for the students attending school there who might be feeling as he did when he first moved to the United States. Inside the cottage are Sa family portraits and a cozy interior, and the surrounding outside of the cottage is a beautiful garden. For rubbing, loving, Sa covered his New York City apartment entirely in white paper, then created a rubbing of it using a blue-colored blue -colored pencil. This intensive project was intended to be a sort of memorial to his home and studio, and to preserve the memories he had there. Sa shared that when he was creating the rubbings, he was reliving the memories of those specific details. What is beautiful about his rubbing is that the Korean translation of rubbing is loving, which perfectly describes the feelings which perfectly describes his feelings towards the structure that once housed him. In another attempt to preserve his beloved New York City apartment, Sa created 348 West 22nd Street, a to-scale fabric replica of his apartment. It is completely life-size and perfectly captures apartment living in New York City. The museum that is currently displaying Sa's work even gives a warning about accessibility because the hallways are very narrow, just like in a real New York apartment. A, just like in a real New York City apartment. Sub was able to recreate his apartment in fabric by sewing, fusing, and wiring. Each segment of the apartment, the kitchen and living, hallway, and stairs are each done in a different color. The fabric apartment features immaculate details like light switches, an air conditioning unit, and even a peep hole on the door. The next work, the next work is a bit of a mouthful. Home within home within home within home within home. It's a, massive it's a massive fabric structure of the town home he lived in during his time at the Rhode Island School of Design, and with inside of that is a traditional Korean style home. The message of this work examines cultural identity and oftentimes the duality of that identity, what it means to be home and, the and remembering where our roots are. Home within home within home within home won Sa the Ho Am Prize, which is the Korean equivalent to the Nobel Peace Prize. Cause and effect is comprised of thousands of miniature resin figures stacked to create a funnel-like tornado shape. 
The inspiration of this piece comes from Suh's belief that individuals are shaped by their past experiences and influences. It demonstrates the domino effect of how a single human develops their personal identity. To me, Doho Sa is an incredible storyteller and has an ability to capture human emotions so well. I really resonate with his work and I know so many others do as well because he envelops the feelings of identity, home, displacement, loneliness, nostalgia, and happiness. This now concludes my presentation of Doho Sa. I hope you enjoyed it.